Hello friends, myself Mehul Kodia from LG Institutes of Engineering and Technology. So in last session we start one new chapter that is gyroscope and also we discuss some basic application of gyroscope and some basic fundamental of gyroscope, what is the function of gyroscope, clear? So in today's session we derive uh, the equation for the gyroscopic couple, clear? So in today's session we have to derive equation for the gyroscopic couple. First of all, you have to understand the basic principle of gyroscope or basic diagram of the gyroscope or you have to understand that any of the device having one rotating disc or one rotating rotor at that time that device consider as a gyroscopic device. Clear? So first of all, you have to remember there is a three axis. There is a first axis that is axis of spin, second axis axis of precession, third axis that is axis of gyroscope. Clear? So first of all you have to understand or you have to remember the name of these three axis and all these, these three axis are right angle to each other like this. Clear? This is axis of spin. Clear? In axis of spin rotor is rotated, rotor rotated about the axis of spin. Second axis that is axis of uh, precession that is vertical axis and third axis that is axis of gyroscope you see in this diagram also. Clear? So rotor rotate in this axis and this axis known as axis of spin. Whenever you change the position of axis of spin in left hand direction or right hand direction according to vertical axis. That's why vertical axis is known as axis of precession and third axis indicate axis of gyroscope and the positive axis indicate axis of gyroscope but negative axis indicate axis of reactive gyroscope clear so there is three axis first axis is axis of spin vertical axis axis of precession and third axis that is axis of gyroscope there is axis of gyroscope positive axis of gyroscope indicate active gyroscopic couple and negative axis of uh, gyroscope indicate the reactive gyroscopic couple. Clear? When the uh, axis of spin, what rotor is rotated uh, about the axis of spin and the plane of uh, that, that is the axis of plane of spinning. Clear? Second plane is plane of active gyroscopic couple and third plane that is a plane of precision. There is a three plane. Clear? Three axis and three plane. First axis, axis of spin. Rotor rotate uh, on the axis of spin. Whenever you change the direction of axis of spin about the vertical axis, at that time vertical axis is known as a axis of precision. And third axis, that is axis of gyroscope. Clear? Rotor or one disc rotate in the axis of spin. Okay, now for find out the direction of angular moment of the disc, you have to use right hand thumb rule. Whenever you visualize axis of spin from the front side, at that time, whenever you visualize uh, disc from the front side, at that time, if disc rotate in anticlockwise direction, at that time you have to put your finger in the direction of anticlockwise. At that time, thumb indicates the direction of angular momentum. And you all know what is angular momentum. It is the product of moment of inertia and angular velocity. That is I into omega. This is the moment of angular moment of I into omega. So whenever you visualize uh, axis of spin from the front side, at that time, if rotor rotate in anticlockwise direction, at that time you have to put your finger in anticlockwise direction. At that time, thumb indicate direction of angular momentum. If rotor rotate in clockwise direction, at that time you have to put your finger in clockwise direction. At that time, thumb indicate the direction of angular momentum. Clear? In this diagram, you see that there is direction of viewing also given. Axis 1 axis of spin is given, when axis of precession is given, when axis of gyroscope also given. And three plane is given. Clear? First plane that is a, a plane of spinning means axis of spin. Second, this is a horizontal plane, this, that is a plane of precision and third plane of gyroscopic couple. 
the effect of gyroscopic couple you can visualize in the plan of active gyroscopic couple. Yeah, so this is the simple basic diagram of the gyroscopic couple. Clear? Yeah, so there is one axis is given, that is OX axis, that is axis of spin. If you change the or if you give some angular momentum or some angular displacement, that is delta theta, you see in this figure. OX indicate axis of spin and OX dash indicate the new position of axis of spin. And new position and old position, the angle between these two positions, that is delta theta. And radius is given, uh, that is an angular momentum. And you all know what is the equation of angular momentum? That is I omega. So value of radius is I omega. Here, so now we have to derive equation for the reactive gyroscopic couple. Consider a disc spinning with angular velocity omega radian per second about the axis of spin OX in anticlockwise direction when seen from the front as shown in the figure. Now capital I indicate mass moment of inertia of disc about OX. Second, omega indicate angular velocity of the disc. So angular momentum of the disc that is I into omega it is the product of moment of inertia and angular velocity. So angular momentum is equal to I into omega. If we consider linear momentum at that time we have to use equation for the m into v that is mass into velocity but in this case we have to use angular momentum that is I into omega. So this is the basic diagram or OX indicate axis of spin then we give some displacement, angular displacement of axis of spin. Whenever we give angular displacement of axis of spin at that time gyroscopic effect is occurred. A new position of axis of spin that is OX dash angle between these two positions that is delta theta and you all know what is the equation of the arc clear what is the equation of arc it is the angle into radius this is the basic fundamental what is the equation of arc it is the angle uh, it is the uh, product of radius and its angle Clear? So there is here is a one diagram, one uh, triangle is there, and you all know how to add the vector triangle, how to add force member in the vector triangle. So based on this figure, you can uh, uh, visualize that that is O X plus X X dash is equal to O X dash. This is the simple basic fundamental of vector triangle. You already learned this thing. So change in angular momentum. Now actual angular momentum is OX, new angular momentum that is OX dash. So what is the change that is delta theta, clear? So OX dash minus OX is equal to XX dash. This is the basic fundamental of a vector triangle. Now XX dash is also indicate the radius of the uh, turning, clear? So for the radius or for the arc, we have to use equation for the arc that is angle into radius. So radius of this triangle that is OX and angle of this triangle that is delta theta. So instead of XX dash, you can put OX into delta theta. Clear? Now OX indicate axis of spin or uh, indicate the angular momentum. So instead of OX, you can put I omega. So equation converted in the form of change in angular momentum is equal to I omega delta theta. Clear? Now what is rate of change of angular momentum means we have to find out rate of change of now equation of the angular change in angular momentum that is I omega delta theta. Now you have to find rate of change of angular momentum that is I omega delta theta upon delta t. Now you all know what is the equation of velocity. Velocity is equal to distance upon time, clear? But what is the equation of the angular velocity? That is angular displacement upon time. So what is the equation of omega? That is delta theta upon delta t. There is an equation of uh, rate of change of angular momentum that is I omega omega p. So now there is two omega. First omega is a angular velocity of the disc, clear? And second omega is we give a uh, momentum in the axis of spin. The actual position of axis of spin that is OX and we give uh, or we give some angular displacement of this axis about vertical axis. Clear? 
so that is the angular velocity of axis of spin clear so delta t theta upon dt is equal to omega t clear so where omega p indicate angular velocity of precession of the axis of spin or the speed of rotation of the axis of spin about the axis of precession oy clear so this is the equation of the gyroscopic couple that is i omega omega p so in this chapter we have to solve all the numerical based on this equation that is i omega omega p this is the equation for the reactive gyroscopic couple now what is the equation of i that is m a square what is the equation of omega that is 2 pi n by 60 and what is omega p is equal to v by r what is relationship between angular velocity linear velocity and radius that is omega p is equal to v by r v indicate velocity of the body r indicate radius of the curvature based on that you can find value of omega p in this case what is the omega velocity that is a simple whenever aeroplane take a left turn clear so at that time you have to calculate what is the speed of aeroplane clear and second thing uh, at uh, what is the radius of curvature of the aeroplane based on that you can calculate angular velocity of the aeroplane or angular velocity of the axis of precision clear so this is a simple equation i omega omega p instead of omega you have to use uh, v by small r where small r indicate uh, radius of the disc clear so this is the basic equation of the reactive gyroscopic couple i omega omega p and what is the unit of couple you all know unit of couple that is newton into meter clear so this is the basic fundamental of a uh, reactive gyroscopic couple or uh, equation of the gyroscopic couple there is two type of couple active gyroscopic couple and reactive gyroscopic couple active gyroscopic couple is an imaginary part or we apply force on active gyroscopic couple but effect of gyroscopic occurs in the reactive gyroscopic couple and effect also we can visualize in the body like aeroplane seal two wheeler or four wheeler clear so this is the equation of the reactive gyroscopic couple and basic fundamental of reactive gyroscopic couple for the understanding gyroscopic effect you have to remember three axis name of three three axis and all these axes are right angle to each other first axis that is axis of spin second axis axis of precession third axis axis of gyroscope in axis of spin one rotor is rotated whenever we change the direction of axis of spin at that time reactive gyroscopic couple uh, effect is occurs why because one disc is rotated in this speed so at that time one momentum of this uh, disc is occurs and more we, you can find momentum of this disc based on the right hand thumb rule so suppose the momentum of this disc in forward direction now you can change the direction so one force applied in straight direction now you can change the direction of axis of spin in left hand side so if you change the axis of spin direction in left hand side at that time rotation of axis of spin occurs in this direction at that time you have to put your finger in direction of rotation at that time vertical axis or upward direction indicate the uh, direction of angular momentum of the axis of spin so we have two vector first vector is in straight direction second vector is in upward direction so resultant force applied between these two force so whenever uh, uh, axis of spin take left turn at that time it will try to move upward direction because of resultant force here so this is the basic fundamental of gyroscopic couple okay so in next session we will discuss uh, how gyroscopic effect occurs in aeroplane clear yeah?